Well, hello once again, fellow Star Trek fans, fellow, mo fellow modelers, and fellow collectors. I've got something really special to show you today. Now, I have shown you the Trumpeter 1200 scale RMS Titanic. The one I'm going to show you today is probably the second best one to that. This is, I'm talking about the Academy, the 1400 scale RMS Titanic. And this is the premium edition. RMS Titanic premium edition with LED. And you can see the 50 years, not the anniversary of the Titanic, but the 50th year of Academy since 1969. <clears throat> Let's see Academy. Academy Plastic Model Company. And along the way you can see some fantastic pictures. I don't know if these are pictures of the actual model. Probably that's what it is. I don't think it's an illustration. You can see the compass tower. The anchor crane and the bow. Let's see where the, um, let's see, is that the front, the forward or the aft staircase? Could be the aft. The cranes. All right, the reason, um, while I'm showing you this, the box is all messed up because they did an absolute awful job and shipping it. They just wrapped it in plastic and then scotched and duct taped the hell out of it and they think that that's good packaging. Um, they should have put it into a box. I would have liked that because I like to keep everything in mint condition and it's not mint condition anymore. Just because of the nicks and bangs and scrapes and cuts. So this is on this side. Let me show you what guys what's on the the other side, it's upside down. It's uh, pretty much the same thing on the other side. Titanic, you see that pretty gold lettering. Premium edition with lights. And on the sides, the long sides, you got RMS Titanic, premium edition. Let's see what's on the ends. There's same thing on that end and this end. Uh, let me uh, flip it over. You can see this side has RMS Titanic Premium Edition with lighting, 1400 scale. And this one is number 1940 out of 2000. So this one was pretty close to the end, 1940 out of 2000. And it looks like number 14226. So, with that being uh, said, and now um, you guys see in the outside of the box, why don't we bring it over to the, to the desk and we'll open her up. Alright, so let's try to figure out how to get it out of the box. There's a section on this side, you can see, I don't know if it's, it's going to pull out like a drawer, here we go. Alright, so the outer part of the box pulls out, pulls off like a drawer, let's put that over there. And you have a box on the inside. Look at that, huh? I wonder why they decided to do the black like that. The funnels are black. Uh, maybe that's to accentuate the lights and the lit up sections. You see, that's a beautiful shot of her. All 
All right, so the first thing, let's do it. The pictures will really help. So you've got this RMS Titanic. It's a flap that holds everything in place or is supposed to hold everything in place. <clears throat> and let's see, first off, we've got, looks like the rat lines. You can see the tops of the smokestacks. Oh, I would think these, they look like smokestacks, but these are the tops of the smokestacks. Now, these brown, little brown ones, let's see the brown tree. That could be, um, it looks like it could be the masts. I don't know, in proportion, I think the masts should be bigger than that. Maybe there'll be more. But you can see the, the smokestack tops. And the chain. I'm assuming that those are the chains. Um, are there any anchors on this? Nope, you can see the shafts though with the, the propellers are going to come out from the hull. Nice. You can see where you tie off. So that's black. There's a black tree. <clears throat> Let's see. Now we got a gold tree. Plastic that's gold plated. And you can see with the base. And there's some actual clear, um, a tr clear tree. You can see the on this Titanic. That looks really nice. I like the, the gold. I like the wheel. Speaking of wheel, you can see the, the ship's wheel. And I think that's the one that's going to go on the aft, not the, uh, the rear deck. And you can see the four-blade propeller over here. Obviously that's the middle one, the turbine. And you've got the two outer uh, propellers the reciprocating engine uh, propeller blades. And let's see, we got the, the anchors right there. If you guys can see the anchors. The photo is gonna look a lot better, I hope, in the video. We've got a nice um, Titanic uh, piece. I don't know if it's that for the base or where that goes. It probably mounts onto the base. This is similar to the one that I've seen in the Airfix. And I've got the Airfix 1400 scale, so we'll see if it's in there as well. You can see the base parts, the sign, you can see the posts. They go very nicely on the base. And then you got the clear parts. You got the beautiful staircase, the grand staircase. Um, ceiling bulb or dome and you've got the aft staircase dome and you've got the uh, the kind of not a greenhouse but uh, where, where the Sun is allowed through the light to it through the um, what's that called um, I'm gonna look it up and if I see the actual part of the ship what it's called I will put it up for you guys because it lets the sunlight in almost like a sunroom or a solarium type thing with the frames and glass you can see the there's other pieces for the hatches oh that's not a hatch that's again that's to let light in so that's the gold and the clear tree let's see what else we got You can see the deck. And it's got some writing on it. Let's see if the camera can make that out. This is the midship. Let's see if the camera can pick up the, the writing.
pretty good size. All right, what else we got? Oh, we got the, uh, the wood, because it comes with a wooden deck. It's pretty nice. Let's see if the camera can pick up the, the grain and the detail. When it's natural wood, it's a lot, it looks a lot better than trying to paint it. On my painting skills, I'm not at the point yet where it could look like real wood. So an actual wood deck um, does look nice. You can see the aft end. And I'll put up a lot of pictures of this because it'll probably look better than the video. And as usual, guys, feel free to pause and check out everything. And it's got uh, what looks like or could be the masts, which is nice because they feel like brass. Um, especially when the bigger the model, when you have brass, uh, excuse me, plastic masts, and you put a lot of rigging on it, they tend to kind of bend. And it doesn't look very realistic. At least with this, the brass is not going to bend. You can see the Titanic the stickers. And is that rigging? It looks like chain. And so we got chain for the anchors in this container as well. So we have the, I think this is for all decks. It's very thin. But that's very nice. Let's see what else we got. Looks like we have the lighting part of the lighting kit or the entire lighting kit. We got the circuit board with all the connections. And you've got the 3M LED light tape. Very good. Reminds me of the um, Polar Lights kit, lighting kit for the Enterprise. You got the, um, the small little clips, and they clip into the circuit boards. Let's see if I can get a little more detail on that for you. Again, maybe the pictures will pick it up better, but I'll do a better. Um, I'll show you the pieces a lot better when I actually build the ship. So there's one, two, three, four LED strips. That's all the LED lighting. I don't actually see any LED bulbs. Okay. That's that. And we have some more of the decking, the plastic decking. And this was colored. You won't really have to paint. Only because the wood is going to cover everything. Isn't that great? You can see the grand staircase. That's I love that. That's so cool. And the rear staircase, the aft. Love it. Let's see. You got the back. I'll show you guys what the back looks like. More than likely, this is where the, the LED tape is going to go on the bottom of it. Beautiful. I said I love this, the grand staircase. All right, what else we got? We got the base, very nice base, really good size. And what's on the other side? Oh, it comes with a drill. So you can drill out the holes. And it comes with the rigging. You can see the black thread. And you get the battery compartment. And I don't see a switch as of yet. Um, obviously there's got to be one in there. 
Unless it's on the other side of this. The battery compartment, the rigging, and the drill come with the base, the packet with the base. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Now we've got getting into the superstructure and the smoke funnels. Let's see the funnels, beautiful funnels. And this kit is pre-colored. Um, I still would paint it though. If not anything, at least for light blocking. You can see pieces of the ladders for the, the funnels and the, the pipes. Nice. I think those might be the, the pipes for the steam, for the fog horns or the air horns. And then looking at the other side, you can see all the railing. See the it's it's nice. The railing is pretty nice. It's nice and clean. You can see down here. There is some railing that's solid. I guess it was too small. It's ever, ever so slight separations. Those two trees look identical. I love the railings. Would have been nice if this kit was in 1350 scale. It would have been a little bit bigger, like the Mini Craft. But it's in 1400 scale, and there is a difference. You do notice it when they're side by side. Um, let's see. B deck. You got those lovely windows. Whether it would be the gymnasium or the smoking room. Nice. More of the superstructure. And it looks like more of the hand railing. And you can see the portholes beneath the railing. Let's see, what else? Do we see the bridge in the wheelhouse? I don't see that on this tree. But I do see the bow, plastic for the bow. You see all that nice detail. Same thing with the stern. cargo hatches and, and the aft and the cargo hatches at the bow. Let's see where the anchor crane goes in the anchor. And let's see where the, the smoke funnels are going to go. Really nice. Okay. What else we got? Let's see. We're down to getting on the hull. And the hull has these little cardboard protectors at each end. Nice. This is absolutely a lot like the 1700 scale. Academy kit that I had shown you guys. Let's see, what is that? Is that tape or how is that tied? Let's um, see the hull is sealed. You know what? Let's. Uh, For you. Look at that, huh? 
and do a little flyby. see the stern and the rudder and where the propeller shafts are going to go and the propellers I'm going to show you more of the detail of the hull nice so it looks pretty much like all of the holes, the portholes, are drilled out. So the drill is probably for something for the superstructure or where the handrails were. So those could be drilled out. Because you can see, I'm looking pretty good. <clears throat> Let me show you the bottom. It does come colored. It's pre-painted. You can see the, the bilge keel and that flat coloring. And you can see the nice holes, the portholes. Looks good. It'll light up really nice. All right, so what else we got? I see some, let me do all the parts before I show you guys the paperwork. So this, what we have here, you can see the superstructure, the promenade deck. Beautiful. And let's see, that would be. Well, I think this is the starboard side. Very nice. You see the promenade deck on top? Where the first class private prom promenades would be. Uh, and you can see the windows. Nice. Again, it would be really awesome if it would have been in 1350 scale because it would have been bigger. Now, it may not seem like much of a difference from 1350 to 1400 scale, but when you put them side by side, there is a difference. It's probably, oh, at least four inches. And when you're talking about scale, that, that adds up to a lot. But on the sec on the swing side, you've got the cranes, the parts of the cranes. Really nice. You got the lifeboats. And you got the lifeboat covers where you would put the strings and attach them the davits. Let's see, where are the davits? The davits should be on here. I think these are, I think these are the davits. Oh, here they are. I know they're pretty tiny. Very nice. You can see the anchor crane is right there. And here is the bridge, the wheelhouse, where the captain's quarters behind that would be. And you 
Got the pot for the compass tower right there. And you've got other miscellaneous parts that go on the deck, a deck. Really nice. You got the flag, flagpole for the back. All right, for the most part, actually, yep, that's it for the plastic parts. So now we can go into looking at the paperwork. And what is this? This is some kind of a cardboard stand. Yep. Academy, RMS Titanic, celebrating 50 years. So this would fold into like a triangle and this would go for a display piece with your Titanic model. All right, so there's quite a bit of paperwork that comes with it. Make sure that's everything. That's everything. All right, so let's open this up for you guys. First thing looks like the decals. Well, they actually look more like stickers. Let me see if I can position it where you can see. All right. 1400 White Star Liner Titanic from Academy. You've got the White Star Line logo flag, the pennant. You've got two flags. And this, let's see. You've got RMS Titanic from Liverpool. And a Titanic name, the size of the ship. And I'm not sure what these are. Those are the decals. And looks like we have some photo etch for you guys as well. Uh, looks like two sheets of photo etch. So, we've got the compass tower. You can see the davits. These davits look a lot more detailed than the plastic ones, as does the, the glass house, the open area, or the solarium windows. And you see some ladders, some staircases. And <clears throat> let's see, this looks like some hand railing up top. Really nice. Nice. What's on the other side? And we've got what appears to be like the top, the A deck, um, just where the smokestacks go. You see some more little tiny little pieces. And we've got a couple of benches over there. And then we have a whole lot of the benches that get put along the ship. A lot of them at the, uh, the stern, the observation deck. Nice. The photo wedge pieces. All right, and what else do we got? The parts, check parts, uh, the parks checklist, excuse me. <clears throat> and let's see, we have some more Academy paraphernalia, warning of assembly of parts in different languages. Let's see. We have the painting guide. Oh, this is really nice. And I'll put up photos of this. 
I like the fact that it's got the rigging. You know, the 1-200 scale from Trumpeter, as expensive as that was, there's no, there's no rigging. Not only is there no rigging, there's no instructions for the rigging. The detail set has the cables for the smoke towers, but that's it. The, the Marconi wires, the telegraph wires are not there. The, none of the, the other rigging is there. I like this and the fact that it does give the rigging and it gives the instructions for the rigging. And I love that, the way they did the base in red. You can see the top of the ship. The painting reference, the Academy models from the model number 14215. Very nice. And that's, there's nothing on the back. So, what is next? Uh, this says manual three, manual two. And it looks like the main instructions. It's a really nice picture. That looks like um, one of the model kits from before. I remember seeing that picture. A beautiful picture, though. One four hundred scale RMS Titanic. Let's make sure you can see that when I give you the information. The legend of the RMS Titanic. From the fanfare at its launch to the horror of its sinking, has fascinated millions for decades. At her initial launch on May 31, 1911, the Titanic, built by the British White Star Line, was nothing short of revolutionary. The world had never before, and perhaps never would again, see such opulence aboard a ship. Seven grand staircases, four elevators, a gymnasium, a swimming pool, a Turkish bath, and a post office gave the ship luxuries enough to rival most fancy hotels. During her maiden voyage from Southampton, England, bound for New York City, the Titanic offered a pair of parlor suites complete with private 50-foot promenades for $4,350 apiece. Apart from these numerous creature comforts, the Titanic was famous for its size and power. At an astounding 883 feet in length and 93 feet in width, the Titanic cut through rough waters with a steady prow. Twin triple expansion reciprocating steam engines combined with a Parsons low pressure steam turbine engine to produce a total of 40, 460,000 horsepower. The end result was a smooth cruising speed of 21 knots with a top speed of well over 24 knots. Weighing in at 46,328 gross tons, the Titanic easily qualified as the largest ship of her time. She was designed to carry 2,500 passengers, accompanied by the crew of 900. The White Star Line infamously provided her with 20 lifeboats, exceeding the British board or trade requirement of 16. The $10 million Titanic was most, was most famous for her hull design. Hailed as practically unsinkable, the Titanic was divided into 16 watertight compartments connected by watertight doors. The hull was designed so that even if any two of the compartments were flooded, the ship would still remain afloat. The problem with that is that the bulkheads didn't go all the way up to the top of the ship. Hence, the water was able to go over the top and fill the remaining bulkheads, and it just kept going and going. Um, unfortunately, on April 14, 1912, more than two compartments were flooded. The Titanic struck an iceberg in the North Atlantic, slicing open more than one-third of one side of her hull. Two hours and 40 minutes after hitting the iceberg, the last remnants of the monstrous ship sank into the frigid waters, leaving over 1,500 people to drown and freeze. The disaster of the Titanic has left an incredible impression on the world. The myth of the unsinkable ship was forever debunked, leading all future vessels to carry enough lifeboats to account for the entire ship. A 24-hour wireless 
vigil was set up and held account for all vessels, and an international ice patrol was created in 1914 to warn ships of dangerous icebergs. And the other side is in a different language. And that's what's on the cover of the instruction booklet. And I'll put up a ton of pictures for you guys like I usually do. Manual 1, the 1 400th scale white star line. And again, it has that thing I read to you for the Titanic in two more different languages. Because remember, guys, the Titanic is loved by everybody around the world. Not just in Britain, as all these languages prove. And this is the unit assembly, and it shows you to carefully remove the parts tree from the parts using a knife. Use the enclosed tools to create an opening where marked. So that's where you would use the, the drill. So the first thing you start, part one, and you do the, appl the application of the LED. So the LED strip goes on top of the deck, the mid structure. So it looks like there's one on top and one on the bottom, and then you put two in the hull to make sure the windows are lit up. And then you put her onto the base. You can see the wiring, the adhesive tape, the assembly connection that you run through the hull of the ship, down through into the base. Um, I don't see a switch for this. Obviously there has to be a switch. I just don't uh, see it. I don't see it yet. All right, maybe that'll come later. Moving on. Part three, still on the LEDs. And it shows you that lovely plaque for the stand. I got the wire coming out of the one on the right. You got uh, connections on the bottom that go under the stand or under the base. Part four, you can see the application of the LED still uh, working. I like it too because in the assembly of the superstructure or the hull, you've got bulkheads to strength strengthen the ship. It would have been nice for the trumpeter one. Um, the trumpeter one didn't have one. I ended up buying aftermarket bulkheads to strengthen the sides of the ship. Part three, you can see the cranes. <clears throat> it looks like ladders. And a thread. All right. Moving on. You can see where we start with the rigging. Bridge deck. More of the, the beginning of the rigging. And part six, the construction of the bow deck. You can see the anchor crane and the the anchor chains and the, the front anchor. And you can see the same thing for the assembly for the aft part of the ship. The rear cargo cranes. You see B deck or the bridge deck. All right, moving on to 
What are we up to? 10. <clears throat> Let's see, A deck. The construction of A deck. Still on A deck. Now I'm wondering if there's separate instructions for the um, the uh, photo etch because in these instructions I don't see anything for the photo etch sheets that we've got. Sixteen, you start the lifeboats or let's see, a smokestack attachment. And you've got the compass tower and boat deck completion. Smokestack attachment. And you've got the other smokestack on the boat deck. Moving on to part 24. Twenty-five. Now, what would that be? The Marconi room between the first and second funnels. And it shows placement of the handrails. And a nice picture. I'm not sure if that's a picture of what you're supposed to place the, the cables for the smokestacks. We'll see. That's probably in the next instructions. Because I don't see instructions for the, uh, the wood decks or the photo etch pieces in this pamphlet. And we can see the, the cables. Interesting, it looks like one piece that you just back and forth it. Nice, or basket weave, kind of, for both sides. It shows you a nice picture of what it's supposed to look like. Hopefully when yours is done, it looks like that. All right, moving on. Different parts that I had shown you of the smokestacks. And then, once the cables are placed on the smokestacks, they can be attached to the superstructure of ADEC. You can see the light strip that went in. That was for, let's see, I think that was for bridge deck and A deck. And you can see. Oh, that was the wrong page, sorry. Another nice depiction of the model. So, what are we up to? Dirty part 33 of Manual 1. <clears throat> and we have the formation of the promenade deck. It's nice. And you see the wiring from what goes. These are really simple. Um, you just cl clamp the, uh, the clips into the circuit board. Very self-explanatory, very simple. Any attachments into the, the clip, the alligator clip. On to part 35. You start to do the masts and the crow's nests. And you've got the construction of the observation platform in a rear wheel. And you got the rat lines and you got 
the um, the rigging, and it's a more complete um, rigging illustration, which is nice. I wish the trumpeter would have had that. Even if it didn't supply the rigging, I would have liked to have had the instructions. And 39, placement of the cranes, more rigging. And show you pictures of what it should look like, or pretty close to it. Very nice, and it's 41. What I'll probably do is, I'll put up a lot of pictures, but I'll probably put up this in another video too, exclusive to the painting guide and all the instructions that go with this. Shows you to hold it with tape for the Marconi lines. Just the rigging for the lifeboats, I like that. Placement of the Marconi rigging or cables. And I guess this is an accessory, the little gold titanic plaque um, that I showed you. I thought it went on a base, but it doesn't show the base. Having that, you can put it wherever you want. It's a nice little extra. And this is the parts locating diagram. All the plastic parts. And it's finished on the back with the plastic parts. Again, that little titanic plaque in gold, gold plastic. The stands. Again, I didn't see a switch. Maybe I'll see a switch and I'll come to see it later on, but as of right now, I didn't see a switch. I know there's gotta be a switch. Let's go to manual two. You can see manual two. RMS Titanic Premium. So I'm thinking it opens up this way. Here we go. Now we have the uh, placement of the photo etch pieces. Nicely illustrated. You see the formations of the masts, the brass masts. Very nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is very reminiscent of the uh, the trumpeter detail kit instructions, and this is the forward ma the forward mast. You can see the crow's nest and the bell. A nice decorative front and back. So what's left? We've got manual number three. And this looks like the wood pieces. Now don't forget, guys, when you do the, the model kit, you're going to do this in conjunction with the regular manual. So if you're going to be working on the smokestacks, or let's say we'll be working on the cranes, um, they got the plastic pieces where you don't have to use this, but you're going to have to go back and refer to these manuals to make the cranes um, using the photo etch instead of the the plastic pieces. You can see the same thing, just a lot more detail. Same thing you can see with the smokestacks. Now those are the davits. Look how look how great the davits look. Much more realistic. And then you see the compass tower. Again, that's a lot more realistic looking than the plastic one. I mean, the plastic parts don't look bad. 
if you're going to do it with just the plastic parts, um, it, it won't look terrible. Actually, that would just be the regular 1400 scale from uh, Academy. You can see little benches. I'm not sure what those are. You can see the, the crow's nest. That is so cool. Rear observation deck. The formation of the benches. Let me make sure you can see that. And the handrails. On the back you've got, it looks like, the pieces. And throughout the whole thing you have the wood pieces so when you're doing the decks <clears throat> so okay let's say you guys are going to be working on the bow of the ship so you got that and when you get to the instruction book when you go to the bow of the ship see when you're doing the the rigging and it has you start the the assembly of the bow. Now, when you're doing this, when you're building and you're looking at these instructions, you're going to have to remember to go and get the wood part, the actual wood planking for the bow to go the same way. It's a little vague. There are no step-by-step -step instructions, so you're going to have to peer everything up. Um, unless I'm missing something, um, but that's everything in this kit that I've gotten. So. I said, unless I'm missing something, that's it. That's uh, the Academy 1400 scale RMS Titanic. And if you were curious about this kit, um, this is going to be a really fun kit to build. You don't have to paint it because of the wood deck and the pre-colored plastic. Though this person, the, the one on the box is done because those come in black plastic and it doesn't match. It would have to be painted red and they painted the inside of the base to match. Now you could have her facing, let me line it up for you. You could have her facing left to right or right to left. I like to face everything like this, the bottom one from um, with the bow on the right hand side so we get to see her starboard side kind of like the Enterprise all the shots of her because the port side of the Enterprise wasn't finished so they had the mounts there and every time it went by you saw the starboard side anyway I got so used to that that every ship that I made I always had a habit of doing the bow on the right hand side and showing the starboard side So again, if you guys were curious on what was in this kit, because I know this is a pretty expensive kit, so you guys might want to check out what's in it before you buy it. And we'll be building this one sometime in the future. Um, it's a nice kit. Like I said, the only thing I wish was I wish it would have been a little bit larger. I wish it would have been 1350 scale. For one, because of the price, and for two, just because it would have been you know, you can put a lot more detail on a 1350 Titanic than you can on a 1400 scale Titanic. But it's still overall a very nice kit and um, be really fun to build this. So guys, if you were wondering about this kit, I hope I satisfied all your curiosity. And until the next video, I'll talk to you guys very, very soon.